it's even if I am successful, I'm viewed as a Scrooge, like a Scrooge, like someone so miserly. No, like just like a mean person. Yes. Yeah. So if you, if I'll be success, successful, uh, I will be a, a mean person. No, no, like even if I am successful, yeah. like it doesn't matter because I'm a mean person. Like I'm that mean statement, person. like I may. Like, someone may be like, oh, that is true, but it's not true. Like, it's Okay, we're looking at, the, the thing is, we're working with you and your thoughts. And, and how to George? Your own, your own thoughts. If you are, will you really be a Scrooge if you are very successful? Is it true? Are all successful people Scrooges? No. No. So it's not true that you will be a Scrooge. It's something you are telling yourself, which is also sabotaging your success, meanwhile. And you haven't even started. You see, <laughs> this is what we do to ourselves. We're, before we even get started to be successful, we're like, yeah, but if I'm successful, it's gonna have negative consequences. Everybody's gonna hate me, and I'm just gonna be a Scrooge. It's about self-leadership. You're talking about yourself and what you think. But you're asking us if we think it's true. Do you think it's true that you are gonna definitely be a Scrooge if you become very successful? Well, all I'm asking is like, I think that. So a part of yourself thinks that. This yeah. is what we have to understand, that it's a part of you. It's telling you, if you become successful, you're going to be a screw. There's another part of you that may be telling you something else, that no, it's, it's not necessarily to be a Scrooge. Right? A little more critical thinking. This is what we're trying to get to the root of. Who is the real you? Who's leading this show called You and Your Life? So we want to empower that real thought, the wise being within you. We're just getting started. Have a little patience. You're going to see by the end. I think you're going to be more clear. So I like that. It's an inner narrative we have, or some of us have. It says, if I become successful, everyone's going to hate me. Or if I become successful, I'm not going to have any time for myself. Right? So just taking that as an example. Is it 100% true? Are there not people? So you ask yourself again, is it true, self, are there not examples of people who are successful, who are not Scrooges, who are very generous, and uh, people also love them because they're successful? Are there not ethical, successful people in the world? So you, you, you play your own advocate, and you say, what you're saying is not true. It's not 100% true. There could be a part of it that's true. So you just take note and say, that thought is false. That thought is trying to block me. I, I see what it says, but I don't agree. It's not true. That's dramatizing. It's overgeneralizing. That's why I gave you the specifics. It's, it may be dramatized. It sounds a little dramatic to me, to be honest. But we're not finished yet. We're, we have the process. Keep that in mind. You understand, though, that the, the first filter is, hang on, you're Socrates, okay? And you say, is it true? Oh, first, we forgot to clap for this lady who's been courageous. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the next filter or test. It's a filter of sorts. What's the next filter? You all said very wisely, it is pathos. Is it kind? Now, when you repeat a statement to yourself like, if I become successful, I'm going to be a mean person, for example. Is that a kind thing to say to yourself? It's not a kind thing. It's not a kind thing. If someone else told it to you, you would say, you know, who are you talking to? Stop talking to me like that. But yet you have this little voice inside of you that keeps repeating it. I think it's kind of mean. That part of yourself is a little mean. It's not kind. It's not looking to empower you. It may be trying to warn you out of love, but it's not going about it in the right way. We're going to teach it how to talk to us. Anybody else want to share a statement? It's okay, it's all inner work, but if you're brave enough to share, go ahead. Mine is like, I don't have enough time, and I always tell myself that. I'm like, I never have enough time to do anything, and I always complain about it. Right, and what's the consequence of that? The outer consequence? Getting really stressed out, or having anxiety attacks, right. or, you know, Very not good. wanting to get sick, pretty much. And what is that? What does that say about you? Your quality of... I'm an overthinker, I think. Too an overthinker. I'm not smart enough to get my sh in order. Right. right? Like that. So that, again, is a, me a narrative 
that is not very kind. It's not very empowering to you. It's trying to warn you. Maybe there is love behind it, but it's not uh, done in a, in a wise way, in a kind way. And we're going to find out ways we can speak to ourselves in a more empowering way. Just hold on, but let's also clap for this lady. Okay. So you see, we all have our inner narratives, and sometimes they are not true, and they're not kind. Sometimes our inner narrative has to do with someone else involved. Like, you know, she's a mean biatch, right? You might think that. Okay, when someone does something you don't like. But is that kind? Is it a kind way? Is that not fixating her into that role? If you think these things about yourself or others, if you have these mean thoughts, it limits them and it limits you. So you have to begin to, you know, change the perspective a little. Because it's not what you're thinking, it's not what's happening, it's what you think is happening. This is what you must realize. This is a, 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 a maxim of Greek philosophy. Uh, the, the Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, it's not what's happening to you, but what, how you perceive what's happening to you. Please. But what if like, it's like repeated patterns of behavior? Like I feel like people have always told me like, I try to see the best in people even when they're like trying to like harm me in some way. Yeah. Like I'm bad at seeing that in people. And they're always like, you need to look for like repeated patterns of behavior and like believe them when they show you who they are. Okay. You know, like, are you like, perfect? Are you no, perfect? I even, even for myself. Right, no, I'm kidding. I don't mean to accuse you. I'm just saying that, of no. course, other people behave in imperfect ways. There's no doubt about that. And you can take your perspective, uh, your, your protection. But you don't have to label them. They're not, uh, uh, you know, forever damned. Because they, too, are a struggling soul trying to learn their life lessons. So just give them that benefit, that... They're not behaving well, repeatedly, but I know that somewhere deep inside of them, this is a kinder thought, somewhere deep inside of that person is struggling. They are trying to improve because they're not getting the really the, the, a positive result. I, I'm just saying soften the thought a bit. It doesn't mean hang around with them, but sometimes like in the office, you may have to work with them. So you can't just accuse people in a mean way. You have to have kinder thoughts. You have to be a little more sensitive. As you speak to yourself, you're going to speak to others too. And that is with more, more compassion. Compassion will get you a lot further, you'll see. Contrary to Hollywood movies, compassion and understanding will help you get more out of life and in your relationships. So we'll continue and we're going to circle back to, to everyone who shares. So the last filter is logos. Is it useful to you to keep thinking that thought? Is it useful to you to keep having that thought like, I'll never lose weight, I'm gonna die of this, or I'll never stop smoking, or uh, if I become successful, I, I can't have a family, or I can't, uh, I can't be a nice person to be successful. Is this useful to you to keep this little inner narrative going? In many cases, it's not. It's not the right program you want to put in your mind because your thoughts are like a program, like a computer program. And I would say very often we are in robot mode, stuck in the same repertoire of thoughts about ourselves and about others. So what does a philosopher do? They stand back and say, okay, I see you, self. You're telling yourself lies or half-truths you're being unkind, and it's not useful. I want to change this program. I want you to change this program. How do we change the program? It's very simple, guys. Like a, like a programmer, you're going to change the code. You've got this code running, this narrative running. How can you change that narrative to make it more useful, more kind, and more uh, truthful? Okay, that's all you got to do. You do the work, come up with a new narrative, a new sentence that is more true, more kind, 
empowering in other words, and more useful to you. So instead of saying, I'll never stop smoking, woe is me, I will die of cancer, you say, what could you say? I can't stop. <laughs> Pardon? I can't stop. I can't stop. I have stopped other habits. I can get help. If I can't do it myself, maybe I can get help someone to, like a buddy system or Alcoholics Anonymous or something. I can remind myself to be kind as I grow up the corporate ladder. I can remind myself to be kind. I can engage in philanthropy. What did you so want to say? I don't think it's okay to ruminate in your fears. I think it is important to have a little bit of fear to drive you to have motivation to succeed what your fear is. Okay. So is it okay to have a little fear? I think it might be a little important to have. Look, I'll tell you something about fear. That's a very good question. So fear comes to us, and we need fear. Uh, it comes to us through our primitive mind, our mind that has gotten evolution to be from where we were in the caves, whatever, to who we are today. We have survived to a great deal because of some fear. Okay, and in in cave days, we we had real fears like tigers chasing us, elephants chasing us, people coming at us with spears. Um, and so our brain, a part of our brain, the reptilian mind, deeply inside your brain is a small place called the reptilian mind. And the reptilian mind thinks, fight, I'm going to fight this thing, or flight. Fight or flight, you might have heard of that. So the thing is that this reptilian brain is still functioning and guiding us, even in today's world, where we don't actually have any life-threatening um, issues, okay? We continue to allow our reptilian mind to control us when we have all, all of us de developed what's called the prefrontal cortex, the ability to imagine, okay? The ability to visualize a new future, a different, uh, to have a plan, okay? So I would say, the reptilian mind say, thank you, reptilian mind, I see you're trying to warn me, but get back into your cave because I live in the 21st century, and there's a lot more uh, options here that I can exercise. I can envision a positive outcome. I can visualize myself not smoking. I can visualize myself being very successful and being a philanthropist at the same time. I can do that. I'm no longer a little lizard or a snake, okay? We have evolved into these, sen you know, sapiens. So it's, it's about enacting this part of your brain, the prefrontal cortex. And it's amazing how much of us are still governed by fear or flight, you know, flight or attack. Have you noticed that when someone goes for you, you're going to either attack or you're going to run off and just crawl back into your hole. There are other ways to handle it, right? And this is what you're doing through your new sentence. Who has transformed their sentence? their narrative. Who wants to share an example of a transform? You don't have to read your first uh, narrative. Just read the result. The result will sound something like, I can. I will find the solution. I have an example of my best friend who was able to do this, or I admire so-and-so, and she was able to do that, and I believe I can follow suit. Who wants to share a more sophisticated story, if you like. One that is more true, actually, that's empowering to you, and more useful, obviously, because you're gonna be running this pro program in your mind anyway. You might as well have a positive program, right? And I'm not talking think positive. I'm saying, use your logic, be kind. Have integrity. I didn't say lie to yourself and say, you know, I'm going to become a gold Olympic champion when you, you know. But, you know, you can win the state uh, competition at this level. Start with something. Okay. How would you, how have you changed your sentence? Who wants to share? Come on. You know? Now we can share. It's all positive. It's not the, the fears. So you, you can feel more. And I can help you formulate it even better if you like. So I'm actually having a hard time changing my sentence uh -huh. because 
I'm kind of stuck on this. So while my statement may not be 100% true, mm -hmm. it's not also 100% false. Mm -hmm. And so on the counter side of that, my original statement is, I'll just walk through this, mm -hmm. is people's perception of me is what is actuality. And the negative feedback is what I really am. And then I'll be alone because I drive people away. And then even my family won't want me. And then even though success... Um, I, I could be successful. It wasn't like a screw thing. Even though I could be successful at heart, I'm still an awful person. So I could be good, right? But I can also be bad. And there, like, there's truth in both statements. You know what I'm saying? So I'm having a hard time. Like, You can say I'm not perfect, but I have a positive side too. I'm not all bad either. But We all have a dark side. The whole point is to integrate yourself. The dark side, the light side, this is how you become whole. You can't just be an angel and everybody love you. First of all, the first a rule of uh, philosophy, you know, have you heard of the serenity prayer? And then knowledge <laughs> Keep forgetting the difference. It's like, right. it's God a, grant me the, the serenity, serenity to accept the, the things, things I cannot change. change. Courage, courage to change the, the things, things I can change and the, the wisdom, wisdom to know the difference. So you were mentioning things about opinions of others. Can yeah. you change the opinions of others? No, but there is no. some truth to it. Sometimes. Okay, but you have to work on yourself right here. This is where your work is done. Other people, even, even if you're Jesus Christ, okay, they may want to put you on a cross. It doesn't matter, even if you are the most admired people. Like some people love Obama, other people think he's the devil on earth. Go figure. Is Obama going to stop what he's going to do? No, he's he. He is himself. Trump the same. Okay? Trump is, he loves himself. Okay, work on yourself. I'm just like, I'm, I'm genuinely like, I think this is great, but yeah, you're do doing you, good work. I love it. Bro, I, how do you balance, how do you balance the two? You work on yourself. You don't try to change others. And here with this narrative, we're talking about your inner narrative. Help yourself. Help yourself. Focus on that, the thing you can change. Have the courage to change the thing you can change. What's your new sentence? What was <laughs> Ella? Come on. Is it, I want you to help yourself more. They say, you're not following the instruction. I said, make a new sentence that will be more truthful. Okay, like I'm not perfect, but parts of me are excellent. That would have been a nice sentence for you. Okay. And I will be trying my best every time to improve. That's a nice new narrative for you. Right? Do you think you're a bad person or a mean person personally? What? Wait, wait, wait. Let's not, let's, let's not make it a personal discussion. What's the new sentence narrative? Uh, I want to hear other sentences. How have you helped yourself? You were going to share your narrative? Yeah, I can share my narrative. Work on your narrative, your own narrative, your own program. Forget the others. It's not but that is my narrative. It's not but we're saying to change it. If you could have a better narrative, what would it be? It doesn't mean you have to believe it 100%, but if you could think, for example, someone you admire, I don't know who it might be, a female politician, a female multimillionaire or something, someone you admire, say, what kind of thought would she have? What kind of thought would you have if you were both successful and a kind person? What kind of thoughts would you be thinking? Pardon? But then that wouldn't be me. Well, you are not you. You are something in formation. You're constant. Are you the same person you were three years ago? No. no. And nor will you be three or 13 or 30 years from now. So you're working on a program now that's going to help you alter the course of your destiny. You know, like a tennis racket or a golf. If you just change the thing a little, the ball is going to end up in a completely different place. So all you need to do is make a small alteration, not big. Just say, you know what? I'm not absolutely this. I can improve. I can learn. And I have examples of someone like this who has done it. And therefore, I will move in this direction. We're asking you to help yourself. Forget everybody else. Forget everybody else. Work on what you can change. I'm not going to focus more. Work a little. I want to see a better sentence, a better narrative. And let's see some examples. By the way, did we clap? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, no, I, I just want to congratulate you. I'm not, uh, I don't, and I don't want to get too, too one on one. Let's let's hear some other narratives, some new narratives. I'm always living up to my full potential because I'm always trying my best. I like that. Okay, clap that. I like that. That's a very kind sentence. It says, you know what? I'm doing my best at every moment. It might not fulfill what has to be fulfilled, but for myself, I acknowledge that I'm trying my best. Okay. Now, what kind of, wh which of these narratives is going to get you uh, more positive results in your life, you think? The revised okay. versions. Pardon? The revised versions. Are the revised version. I like Have that. Have you guys ever heard of like, depending on who writes the history, the history is written in certain narrative? Mm -hmm. Of course. Right? Oh, so, yeah. in essence, what we're trying to learn in this yeah. exercise is you're writing the history on your behalf. I like that. And you're looking at it through your lens in more of a positive way because somebody's conqueror is somebody's uh, villain. Mm -hmm. Right? Somebody's heroes is another person's villain. Yes, there's no objective. And truth. So, you're writing your own story, your own history. Because what did we say was the, the main uh, mantra of Greek philosophy? It's not what's happening, it's your interpretation of what's happening. Yeah, it's training your monkey. We are training our monkey. Remember I said the reptilian mind, the more primitive mind that, yes, keeps you from being hit by a car. You're not going to walk into the street. You're going to be afraid to walk there. But you don't let that part of your mind control your life and your dreams. So yeah, in a way, we're training the inner monkey. I like that. Um, more positive uh, narratives. Who's rewriting their story? OK, I need to be more accepting and confident of my character. I like it. Let's remove the word need. I am, I'm beginning to be more accepting and mindful of my character. Accepting and confident of my character. Okay, because if you said I am, is it true right now? No, it's not. She is beginning to, she's beginning to train it. So from now on, I'm going to be more loving and accepting of my character. Another sentence. Or I'm beginning more and more every day I'm beginning to be more open and accepting. That's a helpful, she's helping herself. You have a story to share, a narrative, a change of narrative? I was kind of struggling with mine. That's um, good. It's not easy. You're recoding your, your own software. Okay, so my biggest complaint was my health issues. And I said that I'm afraid that it'll never get better. And then I said my great the deepest consequence is like either I won't be able to live like a happy life or like nobody will love me with my health issues. So I was like struggling with how to change that because like you can't really control your health. Like I'm doing Okay, but I you can't do. control your health, but you can control what you're thinking of what's going on. Like you could say like I'm trying my hardest to feel better. I will focus on feeling good. I focus my mind and attention with all my heart on feeling better, feeling good, and uh, you know, improving my health in any way that I can. I'm, I'm every day more and more. I'm focusing on a positive feeling, no matter what's happening. I, I'm going to be follow, you know, focusing on my health, my healing, and loving myself, no matter what's happening. For example, like work in this direction. Come on, some of the men now. I want to hear some of the men. Okay. So I've always thought of myself as a stubborn person. So my positive statement, what I thought was being stubborn, could actually be persistence and apply that to making changes in my life. I like that. I like that. I accept that I have a persistent character. And I work this towards my benefit. Mm -hmm. yeah, I work it towards a common, a, a, a positive goals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I like that. Use something you have that's been negative. Use it to positive, please. Oh, I was clapping. Oh, you were clapping? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's good, you know. Lovely. Who else wants to share a, a new narrative? 
Don't be shy. Don't be shy. <laughs> I'll do one. Please. Um, so my first initial one was that um, I can never not be anxious and my mind is always in so many different places. Mm -hmm. So my revised one is I can focus on what's happening rather than what could. Like what's happening Okay. In the or I'm accepting what's happening. Rather than thinking of like everything else going on that could happen that right. isn't actually happening. Right. I am I'm accepting what's happening here and now in the most uh, beneficial manner. Is it beneficial? How can I make it beneficial? Or everything that's happening is an opportunity for me. You can say everything that's happening is an opportunity for me. For some kind of growth, learning, whatever. So it's really becoming the engineers, the software engineers of your mind. The first thing is uh, what you said about becoming aware of your limiting program. That's mindfulness. Ah, I just saw a self-limiting thought go by. Stop, time out like Socrates. Is it true? Just because I've been thinking this for the past three years, is it really true? Is that kind of for me to say that to myself? Is that useful? No, how can I say this in a more empowering way? Focus on the solution, not the problem. Please, can I hear a, a new narrative from you? Yes, yes, you. Did you write a new narrative? Uh, I did. Um, mine is something like, I am working on appreciating my efforts and the things I do. Okay. You don't even have to say working. I am appreciating my efforts more and more. I like that. I love it. Try to use that word appreciation. It's a magic word because what you appreciate appreciates. Okay? I like that. You appreciate something. It's, I appreciate you. You're one of my best friends. So the more I appreciate you, the more close we become, the more things we share and we deepen. You know, energy goes where attention goes. Energy flows where attention goes. So self-leadership, this inner compass, this is it, guys. You are guiding yourself through everything in life with your inner compass. This is the inner compass. It's inside here. And you're guiding your own thoughts. You're influencing your own thoughts. That's all you can do. I mean, anyway, you have to have your stuff in order before you start leading others. Anyone else who would like to share? I see you've written a novel there. <laughs> no, it's just no. Okay, any positive, any, any reworked uh, software? I said I will make time for the things that matter. Other students can work, have a social life, make time for their family and be a full-time student. All at once, I can do it too. Okay, I like that. You don't have to say will. Every day, more and more, I'm doing this. Say, try it again. Okay. Say it again. Like every day I'm doing more of like balancing? Every day I'm getting better at balancing. Okay. Every day I'm getting better at balancing. Every day I'm focusing on what's useful to me. Like this. What about the gentleman here? Do you have a sentence? You don't have to tell us the, the fear if you want, you can share, but we're interested in the, the new solution. That's a I will work towards being more passionate and being a better person. Okay. Like again, work. I, I like that. I applaud it. I say, instead of I will work, I am working. How does it feel? I will and I am working. Try to use this present continuous mode. I am working. I am feeling. Every day I'm getting. You see, rather than I will, I want. Bring it closer to yourself like that. Yeah? It needs a little work, you see. It's, uh, it's not, uh, this is called inner work. Inner work. Have we made any progress? Have we tried another narrative that may be more helpful to you? No. No? Okay, I like this. I like you. So tell me, because I was, I'm a skeptic too all my life. That's why I got into this. What would it be if you could have uh, an empowering statement? What would it be? But see, to me... No, like, but, no, but. 
Mm-hmm. No, but that is my empowering statement. No, what is your empowering statement? The thought of something negative makes me want to be something else. Make sense? You're making life more difficult for yourself. You know, you can you can go st- you know straight, and you're going like this, like this, <laughs> and like that. But I think it's fuel. Fuel. What is fuel? Your anger. No, not my anger. What? Your self hatred. The possibility of what will happen if I do not hold myself to a higher standard. Because, no, because what's happening is you're focusing on the negative, and that will drive you to that result. I'll show you. If I ask you all to think, do not think of a, a pink elephant. Think of anything else you want, but don't think of a pink elephant with red dots on it. What happens to your mind? Where does it go? Right, I agree with you. My only thing is that fear that's driving me Mm -hmm. keeps me going. She's not telling you to get rid of fear at all. She's telling you to get rid of the negative thought that you put in your mind after acknowledging the fear. What she's saying is you understand there's a fear and give yourself a positive thought to overcome that fear. And that's really where the balance is, is that negative thought Bring more negative thoughts, so the positive thought will bring positive thoughts and reaffirm it of your success in overcoming those. Wait, wait, uh, thank you. I want to just give you a simple example. When you're driving, do you say, uh, uh, you want to go home, okay? You're here from work, you want to go home. Do you keep saying to yourself as you're driving, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this, I mustn't hit that, I mustn't kill someone, I mustn't do this, I mustn't pass the red light. Is this how you're going to drive in life? No. You're going to say, What's the result I want? I want to be happy, flowing, successful, abundant, and enjoy the ride. That's a different way of driving. You can get there like that. Of course you can get, but it's going to be very, uh, uh, you know, it's going to be stifling the energy when it can be just, I'm driving, I'm looking where I want to go, not where I don't want to go, and ask a race car driver. The race car drivers, if they look a little to the side, they crash on the wall. Because if you look off your thing, uh, it, it drives them, and, and you, you see that in a faster thing. So I'm not saying that uh, other strategies don't work. Yeah. But make it easy. You know, path of least resistance. You're just putting a block in your way. We know how the brain functions now. This is the difference. If we were speaking 50 years ago, maybe I wouldn't be telling you this, but now through uh, what's called neuroplasticity, you can uh, reform your mind, your actual neurons, okay? What's happening is now you're going with a certain thought pattern. If you repeat a new thought pattern for 30 days, you have a new behavior, 30 days consistently though, okay? I'm just saying try it for a month, something different. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying what I say is absolute. You work with this method, and you may get better results easily, more easily. Okay? That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying you have to agree with me. I'm saying give it a chance. Try it out for 30 days. You have a whole life ahead of you. 30 days is not going to kill you. Yeah, it's just hard to rewire something that has been the same. For hard, of course it's hard, but if you have you not done hard things in your life? Well, sure, but of course it's you just have. a different way of thinking, which is obviously helpful. I'm, I'm obviously trying to, uh, you know, give you an easier way, yeah. a more flowing way, a more joyful way. That's all. Try it out. Other sentences? Did you... Make a new sentence, a new narrative? Or have you shared it already? I forgot. I didn't share. All right, please. Would you like to? You don't have to share the fear, just the new statement. I didn't make a new statement. No? No. May I ask why? What? What is, what is it that kept, kept you from that? I think it's kind of on the path of what she was saying. Okay. Um, I kind of disagree with you about the fight or flight. I think that still drives a lot of what we do. It's just in a different form. You were talking about physical fear, and I think there's a lot of mental fear. Um, And there is flight or fight. Flight being we ignore that fear. The fight is we try to, you know, change our habits, try to change our, you know, our way that we go about it. It's a different way, but it's the same mentality. Okay. 
let me ask you something. I may agree or disagree with you. Sure. The statement. Yeah. Okay, if I were to pay you $50,000 now, here on the table, could you make a positive statement for yourself that has some integrity, some truth to it? Would you be capable of doing it? I mean, sure, but at the same time... Why didn't you do it, though? Why didn't you take this opportunity? Because I'm scared of tricking myself into something that's Honey, not we're true. not tricking now. We're not tricking. I'm just asking you to write a new story. Just a, a little more empowering story. It's amazing to me that you, 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 know, you resist just a simple a grammar exercise. Because it isn't just a grammar exercise. It's supposed to be personal to impact change. Let's see first the statement. Let's get the statement right, and then we'll see if we want to use it for the rest of our life. Just try to formulate a new two sentences, three sentences, from I will never stop smoking, I'm not capable of stopping to smoke, I'm going to die of lung cancer and be a disappointment to my family, to, you know what, I think there is a part of me that may stop smoking, I may join a group therapy, and... Things may turn out all right. So what you're saying is positive reinforcement, to sum it up. Fake it till you make it, almost. No, not fake it till you make it. Make a statement that is true. That is true. Well, I know it is true. It's true because, for example, in the smoking uh, example, uh, one says, I'm going to die of smoking, I'm incapable, I'm useless. I'm going to leave my family to be miserable. The other says, you know what? There is a part of me that may be able to change this habit. Let me give it a try. I'm going to join a group therapy for support because alone I haven't done it. That's the other statement. Which one do you want to live with? Is this a lie? I think the other one is a lie too. So you might as well choose a bit of a more positive lie to yourself because the other one is definitely a lie. So, but then, can we not eliminate the truth column? No, no, you have to make a mature statement. I didn't say, I will become president, okay? <laughs> say, I will become state senator within the next five years or state governor, I don't know what you, I will run for mayor in my town. I didn't say start from I will be president. Say, in this year, I can win the mayoral uh, candidacy, right? That's all, that's all I'm saying. Give yourself a chance. Mm -hmm. Don't sabotage yourself with lies because you are lying to yourself. I think a more helpful way to look at it or a way to rephrase it is you're not like telling yourself something that's not true. You're just reframing. Eggs. What you're already reframing, doing. kind of like people do in therapy. You're just yeah. reframing what you're. This is what we're doing: therapy, philosophy, therapy, <laughs> psychotherapy. Okay. Do you have a sentence? Did you share? You shared your sentence. Okay. You're very good. Okay. This is all I really have to say to you guys. Give yourself a chance with a, a better narrative, and uh, the ball may end, end up in a completely different place. Yeah. Give yourself that chance. Science backs this up too. Look it up a little. I hope you read my book, go to my website, uh, and you'll see science is backing this up too. So give yourself all the positive tools you can. This is your life. This is your, no one is going to do it for you. Thank you so much for. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your challenging question. <laughs> I appreciate that. I, I, I myself was a, a person who would, early on in my life, I was quite a cynic, actually. Maybe because my father raised me in such a way. He was a, a, a war veteran and just told me, everything is such a struggle, I guess this. Go become a banker, you know. <laughs> and now, you know... I don't work nine to five in a bank. I do what I love. I live by the beach. I'm making money online as I'm sleeping. And I said, Dad, you know, I could have been in the bank, but instead, uh, you know, I chose my life. So you decide what you want. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.